Uh, all right, so let's get started. Um, welcome everyone. My name is Lane, and I'm the Assistant Director of our LLM and Master's programs at USF. Today we will be uh, hearing from Julianne Cartwright Trailer, our Associate Director um, of our LM and Master's program uh, and visiting scholars. And we will also be uh, hearing from Laura Rivera from our class of 2009, who graduated from our uh, International Transaction and Comparative Law program, LLM program here at USF. So I will let both of them uh, introduce themselves in. Okay. Um, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to our um, webinar for the um, University of San Francisco School of Law LLM program. My name is Julianne Cartwright Trailer. I'm Associate Director of International LLM and Visiting Scholar and Student Exchange Programs here at the Law School. It has been a pleasure and an honor to be here for the past 15 years. Wow. Um, my background, um, I am a political scientist with advanced studies and training in the US and abroad in the fields of international law and specifically international human rights law. My academic background, um, I've been a visiting scholar for five years at the International Peace Research Institute in Oslo, Norway working on human rights, women, and peace issues. I've also been a consultant for the United Nations on human rights issues. I've combined that with advocacy work in the US and abroad, having held leadership positions in Amnesty International USA, human rights advocates, and the Women's Intercultural Network. I'm a fully accredited non-governmental organization representative working on human rights issues with the United Nations Economic and Social Council. So you can see my position here at USF School of Law has been a perfect fit for that background. And now I'm going to have Laura introduce herself. She's one of our esteemed LLM alums. Um, and Laura, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. <laughs> of course. Good morning, good afternoon, good night even, good evening. Um, my name is Laura Rivera. Um, I'm so happy and honored to have this opportunity uh, to talk to you this morning and about one of my life-changing experience at the LLM program in the University of San Francisco. Have you heard? Um, I am LLM class of 2009, and, and I took the International Transaction and Comparative Law Program. Um, currently, I am in El Salvador. <laughs> I am the team leader of the Democratic Governance Area at the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in my home country, El Salvador, in Central America. Um, I have had this position since 2016, and, and I think I, I, I can uh, share with you all my experience and, and all the insights that uh, the study in USF brought to my life. Thank you, okay. Julian and Margaret. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Laura. So let's, let's start out with some basic questions. Like, why did you decide to obtain your LLM degree and what led you to choose USF to do that? Wow. You know, I have, first I have to, to, to say that uh, when I received your email to, to share with you this moment and, and, and share with you all uh, this experience, I, I want I was more than honored. I, I mean, each time that I think in my experience of a USF, uh, a smile brought to my, my face, I have to confess. It's a wonderful uh, moment in my life. And uh, back in 2000, 
eight, uh, when I decided to, to take my LLL degree, uh, I definitely, I, I was uh, in El Salvador at that time, and I wanted to strengthen my international experience and gain perspectives and credentials to continue working in public law and international issues. So at that moment, um, I decided to make a pause in my professional career. I was working at that time. Um, and in 2008, and I decided to take an, uh, an LLM program uh, in a bilingual, bilingual environment, uh, which was itself quite challenged because here in El Salvador, we are uh, Spanish speakers. Mm -hmm. So for me, took the program of USF fitted uh, perfect with my dreams to become an uh, international practice professional. And, and I think that LLM, uh, a, a year program, uh, is like a bring me all the experience that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you make a, a second question? Sorry, I, I think and, I and, and what made you choose USF? Okay. Um, I think first I had to say that I made the right choice <laughs> <laughs> to decided to, to, to study at USF. Um, I am a Salvadorian lawyer and, and back, as I said, um, it, in 2008, when I think, uh, you know, for me, it came natural. Uh, all of my secondary school and undergrad studies had been in a Jesuit institution. So for me, it came natural to apply to University of San Francisco. Jesuit led or inspired school have the best academic reputation and not only in El Salvador, but I guess worldwide. Um, and, and I, and, and that for that reason, USA was so attractive to me. And, and I even uh, got an international partial tuition a scholarship to study the LLM program, for which I will always be uh, thankful. Um, and the scholarship was uh, awarded by the University of San Francisco. I, I also choose uh, USF because I was looking for like a mid-side university where I will be able to connect easier to the academic, with the academic community. I was uh, really, really looking forward to being part of a diverse student body. Um, and and I, I wanted to, to see all these uh, diverse background, the, the world is a big place. And I thought attending to, to the school like USF will better prepare me for life in the real world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you bring up a, a number of things, the, our, our Jesuit uh, background of, our, yes. the, of your schooling and our university, and you talk about diversity. And I remember the diversity in your class, and um, uh, we almost have as many countries represented as students in, in each of our classes. And so, um, and we've gotten awards for being one of the most diverse law schools in the in the whole U.S. Um, and we'll come back to some of some of these points now. When you were an LLM student, um, did you participate in any of the clinics that uh, the LLM program USF has to um, um, offer? Yes, yes, I did. And I could not be uh, prouder and happier of that experience. I was a, a fellow of the Human Rights Clinic at USF. And, and during that uh, fellowship, I researched uh, presented at the 10th uh, session of the Human Rights Council, United Nations Geneva in Switzerland in March 2009. Mm -hmm. under the guidance of Professor De La Vega and, and you, Julian, of course, and, and it was really amazing. I enjoy the whole experience. And even today, every time that I receive a 
printed copy of the clinic's newsletters, I always have this smile in my face with satisfaction. I, I guess this being part of the clinic, uh, when I see in a perspective was the first time advocating for a topic at the international level. And the LLM gave me that opportunity. And I have um, to, to add that one of the things that I uh, like the most uh, about the LLM program that combine this perspective of not only, for instance, I um, since my uh, LLM was international transactions and comparative law, um, I, I guess the classes between, for, is, for instance, international business transaction and courses of human rights, I mean, this, uh, this element uh, give me a perspective and give me elements to have um, very more comprehension of all the challenges that, uh, that are in the real world. And, and I do, do love uh, all this scope of international human rights and corporate accountability. I think this mix of classes that you receive in the USF uh, program LLM, and also you can apply during the, the clinics uh, research that you do, it's, it's wonderful. Right, and, and you mentioned a number of things as part of the experiential opportunities that we give our LLM students um, in, in the, the um, international program that you, uh, under the, the guidance of our expert faculty scholar, Professor Connie De La Vega, um, to pick a topic, research it, and actually go to the United Nations Human Rights Council in um, Geneva, Switzerland, to advocate uh, on the human rights issue. And so um, uh, you were fortunate enough to participate in that, that program. Um, and you, you mentioned a number of your other classes that you were able to take as a foreign trained lawyer, you did take the American legal system uh, class. And um, why don't you uh, talk a little bit about that in, in addition to, as you said, your specific like you took comparative law, international business transactions, international exactly. human rights law, human rights and corporate accountability. And you took other classes like an environmental law and an IT class, information privacy. Talk about that. Uh, exactly. No, you know, um, well, the courses that I, um, that I took during the, my LLM um, fit perfect. What my, uh, with my expectation. I was looking for a program uh, that would let me grasp uh, the foundation of the American legal system. But at the same time, uh, would let me explore of, uh, areas of law that also interested me, like international human rights and international transactions. And as I said, that combination I, in the LLM program was uh, perfect. Um, and being an, a Spanish native speaker for me, or classes uh, brought me a spark in my professional development and, and I face each as a challenge. I, I do have good memories of my env environmental law classes, um, which introduced me to the administrative regulation of the envir environment, the, EPA. Uh, additionally, I uh, I really appreciate it, and I actually use it as, uh, until now all the exposures and technique uh, that I got from my negotiation classes that I uh, mm -hmm. took class. Uh, I mean, it was very practical, and I using I, I got the tips, and I and I, I mean I always prepare myself using the tips that I received from uh, during the program. And uh, since I love to improve uh, citizen participation in the public decisions, um, getting clues and tips to protect the data and let uh, and learn more about internet surveillance uh, 10 years ago uh, 
with uh, now the Dean Susan Freywell uh, was also an amazing experience. And, and, and I, I have uh, wonderful memories of all the professors. Uh, and, and now I, it, it's coming to my mind, all the name, Professor Reza Dibash, I guess he's- oh, Right, still, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And of course, Connie de la Vega, Dean uh, Iglesias also, and uh -huh. you, Julian, and uh, Alice Caswell. So, uh, I mean, uh, all the courses brought me something and, and I really using all the knowledge and techniques that I learned in the program. So, so and, and you've hinted at this about how your LLM degree has advanced your professional goals. Um, you want to talk a little bit more about that and how has uh, a bit more about how your LLM degree has helped you in your current position. Exactly, I mean, um, for me, the the degree the master degree from an american university um, has opened a number of windows and and i said many opportunities and particularly uh given me tools to get close to international law and policy practice and i guess this is a uh, key and um, the LLM gave me credentials and an experience to embark uh, on an important change at the time in my career track. And it, so uh, after the LLM, I, I, I feel myself with those uh, tools uh, and, and, and being exposed to that experience that until now I, I are key elements. Um, additionally, uh, the LLM, help me extend my professional network. Mm -hmm. and, and that is very important in any profession to, to have a, a networking and, and follow up all, all the people that we want to, to, to be part of that network. And of course, LLM uh, gave me uh, legal research tools that for me, it's very useful. The, the legal research that I, until just in, um, until now, that is very important. Uh, in my current role at, here at UNDP uh, El Salvador, you know, um, first I have to say, it, uh, UNDP is a, a multilateral organization. So I am here in El Salvador, but, uh, and I am, um, giving my services here in El Salvador, but uh, we always have in mind that we belong to an organization that is uh, bigger than this office and we can uh, practice and, and, and do our, our services in any place in the world. And actually, for instance, I am, um, I am helping uh, Mexican, a Mexican office uh, with a uh, consensus building process in a indigenous community in Mexico. So even though I work in El Salvador, uh, I guess you have to have in mind that your services can be um, rendered in any part of the world. And the LLM um, gave me that perspective to understand the the legal system, different, the one different than mine, in, in this case, the American legal system, the foundation, um, but also to understand the academic standards of American schools and practitioners. And, and I think that was key uh, because as international uh, professional, uh, you have, I mean, the world is, 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 is the market. So, Mm -hmm. the standards that you have, uh, it's, it's important. So I learned it from the LLN. And, and you know, for me, um, study all these uh, classes, human rights, uh, international transaction, for me, uh, it was the first time uh, I haven't studied human rights in the academics way before going to the LLN, neither in Spanish nor in English. So for me, uh, it was very likely to be exposed uh, to, 
to the UN world, to the gender perspective in law. With, uh, I remember Julian, you being a strong advocate of the convention of the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. And, and all of that I, I learned in, it in, the, in the LLM. So that perspective, that element of my professional career, I mean, I, I, I acquired in the um, LLM program. So I, I have to confess that, that LLM at USF introduced me to the inner working of UN system. And, mm -hmm. and I began to understand all these multiple forums and the importance of use and those spaces and, and how your training as a, as a lawyer can fit in any, any of those uh, spaces. And, and um, um, thank you, uh, Laura, for, for, for those comments. Are there any other uh, additional comments or thoughts that you might have about your experience here, about being here in, in San Francisco, um, about um, applying or any in, in applying for the program or any any last thoughts um, uh, that you might have. Thank you. Well, now the world has changed, uh, and now we are uh, COVID nineteen world post war, and and and. I definitely, uh, in 2021, I will apply again to the USF uh, and, and to study uh, LLM program. I, um, of course, the virtuality maybe uh, made things uh, different, but I guess all the experience and, and as I said, all the community that is um, built around the, the, each program um, is so enriched. And, and, and help you to, to grow your, not only professionally, and, but also, but also uh, personally. And I, and I guess that part is uh, wonderful. I, I mean, uh, I remember um, for travel, uh, for me I, at that time, travel to you, uh, San Francisco and pick a new language is uh, definitely one of the highlights uh, of being enrolled in the LLM program. Why testing, <laughs> also another highlight. And the beautiful parks of California were, were definitely a plus. But um, I mean, if I, if I can do it again, I, I do it again, because I, I think uh, USF uh, brought that, uh, bring that, uh, that uh, introduced you to a niche. Um, and, and at the same time, a niche uh, in which can, you can um, grow and make all these connections that allow you to grow in your professional career. Um, and um, Margaret, I don't know if we have any um, questions for um, uh, Laura yes. from, from, from the participants. And let me share our screen here. Um, so everyone, uh, we will um, share my screen. Um, we'll have time for some questions now. So feel free to enter them in the chat. I have put our contact information um, up on the screen right now and I will drop it in the chat. Uh, we did get uh, one question that was sent to me, but I feel like uh, Julianne kind of uh, covered it with her question just now of, um, you know, what you would want a prospective student um, that's applying or thinking of applying soon um, to know about the program or the application process, if you have any uh, advice. I know you said oh. you would do it all over again, uh, but Laura, <laughs> you want to you wanna add, say additionally to that comment? Uh, yes, I, I, I think to, uh, for a prospective student uh, that is applying to the program, um, don't think it uh, too much, just do it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and I think it's, it's, it's a good 
option, the best option for me. Uh, it was, and it's always be the, the best option to have applied to the LLM program. And the application process is um, really easy. At least it was 10 years ago. I, I, I am pretty sure that it's easier right now. Um, as I said, uh, the, the program also offers a scholarship, so it can, uh, you can find out how is uh, all the, the, the requirement, but I, but I think um, USF, uh, the, the university, but also the LLM programs uh, offer you um, a very, um, a, a, a solid foundation to grow to an international career. And, and thank you, Laura. Thank you. And uh, Margaret, I would add to that, that um, um, there's still time to apply. Those of our um, um, attendees who are thinking about it, there's still time to apply. And if you have any questions, Margaret, if you can uh, put up in the, uh, the chat how to uh, get a one-on-one -on -one, um, mm -hmm. session yes. with, with, uh, with uh, us, and we can do a, a Zoom meeting with you to answer any additional questions that you might um, have. Um, we, uh, um, Laura also talked about scholarships and uh, there's no separate form or anything that you have to complete for scholarships. We automatically consider each of our applicants for a merit scholarship. And as I said, there are no separate forms. And when we send you a letter of admission, we will also include um, the amount of scholarship that we are um, offering you um, to attend our, uh, to support you um, to attend our, our LLM program. And I would say apply um, sooner rather than later um, so that we can go through um, this process. And of course, those of you who are um, viewing this internationally from abroad, we'll have to go through the visa process. So we want to leave ourselves enough time um, to uh, do that. And we assume that there will be new um, uh, immigration regulations um, um, henceforth with our new um, administration in Washington, DC. So please reach out to us. And as you um, heard, um, uh, Laura mentioned um, just other things about the um, uh, personalized um, uh, training and attention that she received at USF because she wanted a medium size um, LLM program. So we're able to do the, give you personalized attention. We give you the hands-on training through externships and clinics like Laura participated in. Uh, we have uh, innovative uh, coursework and a combination of you being able to take varied courses um, and to get experiential training opportunities to help you achieve your goals. And she talked about uh, making professional connections and um, working with our um, professors and mentoring, and she talked about um, the diversity at the at the at the law school. So these are some of the things that I would um, highlight. What uh, Laura has um, mentioned, and some of the benefits that she received as an LLM um, student. Um, Yes. Margaret, are there any other? Thank you. Other? Thank you, Julianne. I want to be mindful of the time. Uh, we oh, okay. Have a minute, <laughs> just a minute past 8.30. So uh, we will let everyone go. But a big, big thank you to Laura for joining us and for um, showcasing how wonderful our alumni are and how um, what a great experience you had at USF. So thank you again, Laura, for taking the time out of your busy, busy day to join us. We really appreciate that. And uh, thank you, of course, to our 
amazing superstar associate <laughs> Dan, for um, always being so gracious with our alumni interviews. So <laughs> everyone, um, and this, this uh, has been recorded, so we will be um, putting this uh, on our uh, USF YouTube page for, uh, again, uh, if you would like to view it later or for our other prospective students. So thank you. Thank you for that, everyone. And thank you, okay. Margaret, for <laughs> your assistance as always with these web webinars. And um, uh, I support what Margaret says about uh, thanking Laura and thanking all of you who participated uh, with us uh, today, attended this webinar and to hear what we have to offer our LLM students here at USF. And we look forward to hearing from you and working with you through the application process. And hopefully we'll see some of you um, here with us in San Francisco this coming August. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you and bye-bye, uh, Julianne and Margaret and everyone. A pleasure to, to be here. A big hug for El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye.